powdery varmints. In this video, I'll talk about the benefits of insulating your still and take you through my process of insulating a still column. And welcome to Open Source Distilling, where time-honored tradition meets modern day technology. This channel is dedicated to challenging and modernizing home distilling in an apartment setting. If that's something that you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Stills look better when they're not all covered up. We've all seen those impressive commercial stills, beautifully manufactured and polished up, and a whole lot of shiny copper porn going on. I do enjoy looking at them, but most of the stills I've seen for sale don't come with insulation. So if the professional distiller doesn't seem so concerned with using insulation, why should the home distiller? In an apartment on a sunny summer day, that still can really get things cooking inside. As the boiler is cooled by the room, you get reflux sticking to the inside of the boiler. That reflux doesn't go up the column, but instead falls back into the liquid below, decreasing the efficiency of our still. We want all the vapor, as much as possible, going up the reflux column to get distilled and purified. As for the column, an uninsulated column has the same thing going on. You're wasting energy by heating up the room, and the room is cooling down your still, affecting its performance. We want the reflux from the top of the still to mingle around with the hot vapor going up the still packing. An uninsulated reflux column causes reflux to collect on the side of the wall instead of interacting with the still packing. With an uninsulated column, we also risk disrupting the gradient of volatiles in the still column that was established during the equi equilibrium stage of distilling. If equilibrium is disturbed, vapor temps will increase at the top of the still, purity will decrease, and the quality of your sp spirit will decrease as well. You will need to slow or stop collection to reestablish that gradient in the column. We want to keep the temperature in the column as stable as possible. Insulating the still ensures all the power is going to drive the correct processes inside the still. Insulating your still gives you quicker heat up times, lower energy costs, and overall a better spirit. So I got this short stainless steel column for my strip runs, and I had this piece of two inch insulation laying around and some uh, foil HVAC tape. You can buy that at any hardware store. So pretty simple, you know, pull off the backing of the adhesive on the pipe insulation, wrap it around, press it tight, and then what I do is I take the foil tape and just reinforce all the seams, taping it down, keeping everything where it's supposed to be. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And here's the final result, an insulated 18 inch, uh, two inch diameter uh, sanitary pipe in all its glory. For the boiler insulation, I use the foil bubble wrap that you can find at any hardware store. I just tape this on with regular packing or box tape. Nothing special here, seems to hold just fine. I also put a layer of the bubble wrap on the top of the still, and I'd recommend putting some on the bottom of the still too if you're not putting fire on the bottom. After reading Odin's I Still blog post, he recommends not insulating the condenser area or really the still head at all. During my last run, I removed the insulation from the condenser area with no ill effects. So passive reflux in the condenser area is probably advantageous uh, for a reflux still. And thanks for making it to the end of this video. If this video sucked, you know what to do. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. 
Hope you're having a great day, and I love you all very, very much.